Welcome. Okay, we are going to divide a polynomial by a monomial. Okay, pretty exciting stuff. All right, I am going to be pretty detailed in this video. If you don't need as much detail, go ahead and check out a video I will link right over here um, where I go more quickly. I'll also link a playlist with lots of more dividing videos, polynomials by polynomial, oh, polynomials, if I can say it, and lots of other videos if you need to check those out for future assignments. Okay, I also want to point out, you may have problems looking like this, or you may have them looking like this, where you have the divide sign, but typically is much easier to work with it written like this, okay? So, but they mean the same thing. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay. This looks scary, right? We've got so many letters, but it's not that bad, okay? Trust me. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to break this up. What? Okay, so it's kind of a form of the distributive property, okay? So if you're like, what the heck is the distributive property? I'm switching videos, don't do it, stay with me. I'll explain. So basically we're going to distribute this 2xy under each of these. Okay, let me show you what that means. So I'm going to write 12xy squared. Okay, I'm going to put that over 2xy. Okay, plus my 6xy over 2xy minus 10x squared y over 2xy. Okay, I just split them up, wrote that under each of them. If you're like, that is not allowed, what is she doing? Let me show you why this is okay. So, if I have one third plus one third, denominator stays the same, I add the top, I get two thirds, right? Well, would that be the same as if I had one plus one over three? Yes, it would be the same. So, I can split those up. This is why that is okay. It is not witchcraft, okay? So what do I do next? Now we are just dividing monomials by monomials, which is kind of fun, actually, but I know I'm worried. So what you're going to do is basically simplify this, figure out what can cancel, okay? So I look at this and I see that 2 goes into both 12 and 2, okay? 2 goes into 2 once, and it goes into 12 six times, okay? You could also just think of this as 12 over two is six, right? Okay, so the 12 over two simplified down to six, okay? Now, x over x is just one, right? So those go away. Then I've got y squared, which means y times y over y. So one of these y's is gonna cancel with one of those y's. Okay. If you're like, what is she doing? I've got a more detailed video on this. I will link over there. Okay. So what am I left with here? I'm left with a six and a Y. Okay. Everything else canceled. You might say, Hey, there's a one there. There is, but if it's only a one, we usually don't write it because six Y is the same as six Y over one. Okay. Now next one. Okay. Six over two, two goes into both of them. It goes into two once, goes into six three times. Six divided by two is three, right? All right, my x's cancel and my y's cancel, okay? So I'm left with plus three, okay? Then let's look at this guy. I've got 10 over two, which two goes into two once, it goes into 10 five times, okay? Then one of these x's will cancel with one of those ones, so I'm just left with one x, instead of x squared, y over y cancels as well. So here I'm just left with, it's a minus, minus 5x. Oh my gosh, that's our answer. But your teacher might want you to write it like in a different order with like the variables in order and then the number on the back. Kind of depends on your teacher if they care about that or not. But there you go. Okay. All right. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. Let's look at this one. Um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to write this 3AB under each term. 
Okay, so I'm going to have 9a squared b squared over 3ab plus 21ab cubed, or to the third, over 3ab, okay, minus 6ab squared over 3ab, right, plus 3ab over 3ab. Whew, that was fun. Okay, so now I'm just going to see what cancels. Okay, so 9 over 3, 3 goes into 3 once, it goes into 9 3 times. Okay, if you do have one where the bottom's not 1 and it's a number, then that's fine. That number just stays in the denominator. Okay, so now we have a squared over a. So one of these a's cancels with one of those ones, so it's not a squared anymore, it's just a. One of these B's cancels with one of these B's, okay? So on top, I'm left with 3AB. Bottom, I've just left with a 1, so I don't need to write it, okay? Plus, all right, I've got 21 and 3, okay? 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 21 seven times, okay? My A's cancel. 1B cancels with one of these B's, so it's going to be a B squared instead of a B to the third. Okay, so I'm left with 7b squared. Okay, all right, now I've got the 6 over 3. 3 goes into 3 once, it goes into 6 twice, right? All right, my a's are going to cancel, and this b is going to cancel with one of those b's. So on top, I'm left with 2b, and notice it's a minus this time, so minus 2b. And nothing on the bottom, or just a one. All right, last one. Three over three is just cancels, cancels, cancels. Okay, so you might be tempted just to have this be your answer, but not quite. Because three goes into three once, A goes into A once, B goes into B once. So it's really plus one. Okay, it doesn't just go away because three AB goes into three AB one time. Okay, but now you are done. All right. Not too bad, right? Okay. Get your homework done. Go to bed. Have dreams of method on our mice.